Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm actually showing my face, you know, <laughs> mixing it up. Um, today we're going to be doing a pick a card on should I wait or should I move on. So we've got group one here, group two, group three and group four. And let's get started. If you have trouble also picking a card, I say to take a deep breath and then choose one, two, three or four. So we've got one, two, three or four and let's get started hi group number one let's see should you wait or should you move on we've got this gorgeous blue crystal right here we'll pop that there can you see that there we go so let's see so your advice overall is knowledge which is this gorgeous one here so knowledge well that's basically what this is about isn't it giving you knowledge so we have moving forward fearlessly romantic feelings Heart to heart conversations, the elephant spirit, learn from the past, sun, two of wands, and the two of swords. Okay, let's have a little look. This is so confusing because there's basically like a pull towards the past, but you know you want to move on. So there's basically, we have moving forward fearlessly. So overall, I think you should move on, which I know this, this reading is going to be really honest. So if you don't like what you hear, then it, it's pretty honest. So I so I'm sorry if you don't want to move on, but that is basically what um, I'm seeing. I'm basically seeing that you almost know that you want to move on, but you just haven't done it yet. Possibly you're in a relationship <clears throat> or you're in like a stagnant relationship where you're like, I've kind of been in this for so long, I should have moved on like a year ago, that sort of thing. Obviously, if you're not in contact with this person, I feel like you still need to move on. But the weird thing is, is we have romantic feelings, heart-to-heart -heart conversations, and we also have the sun. So I actually feel like, actually, you know what they tell me, is once you move on, then this person is going to come back, essentially. So if you do move on and have that time away, like not thinking about them or just kind of work on yourself then they're going to come back because we have romantic feelings we have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation i also feel like if you want to communicate with them and, and you're able to communicate with them then definitely communicate to them because with heart-to-heart -heart conversations it's basically like you you need to either initiate the conversation or there is going to be a communication of some sort that is very loving just it may take a bit of time okay so learn from the past when you've been in this situation before how has it turned out in the past or if this is a new situation kind of think okay so what would be the best thing for me to do right now and if it's to stay then definitely do that but if it's to move on then maybe just let yourself go from this and maybe if it keeps popping up especially if it's um a spiritual 5d relationship those things get really annoying <laughs> and they keep popping up so if this keeps popping up because i do feel like there is a full-on potential here because i feel like when you met this person you were like oh and like the angels were like proper descending they were coming up they were just like everywhere i feel like you have some really intense feelings for this person but we have the two of wands and the two of swords so it's like what the hell do i do so i feel like what they're telling me is yes i know it's really difficult to figure out whether you should move on or should you wait but you have the ability to move on for now and then come back to it if you want to i also am thinking as i said if you look out and move on like look out for what's in front of you now instead of what's with this person i definitely feel like this person's going to come back anyway because there is romantic feelings here and i don't generally feel like to um kind of think okay so what would be the best thing for me to do and almost get knowledge from possibly other people get second opinions because sometimes this thing can be really confusing and it's basically just do whatever feels feels right to you basically i know that's kind of like not really an answer but essentially i'm saying move on if you feel like it's the right thing to do and then just kind of let this person go because i definitely feel like they're going to come back i can't guarantee it but from learn from the past it's like you've got this you know what you know what you need to do so i feel like you know what you need to do already i genuinely feel that because i feel like you have knowledge i feel like you know what you want you need to do already okay but i definitely feel like it's, i see you moving on 
but I can't guarantee this person's coming back, but I can see you moving on, okay? Uh, I hope this is what you wanted to hear. If it wasn't, then just kind of, just let it fly, guys. This is just, um, just advice for you. So if you'd like a personal reading with me, all the information is down below. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I'd appreciate it so much. And if you would like to, um, uh, like and comment if this resonated with you. As I said, if it didn't resonate, then I let it fly. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye, guys. Um, also, group number one, I got the song Don't Stop Believing. <laughs> okay so if that helps then listen to it okay because that's what i got in between readings i sometimes get songs so if that's extra advice i hope that helps hello group number two thank you so much for watching also if you can hear background noise i do apologize people are doing stuff in their gardens so we have the gorgeous opalite i freaking love this crystal it's so perfect i just think it's so me like just i love it it's so pretty okay so we have the boundaries card <clears throat> for your advice so should you wait or should you move on we have family harmony separation flamingo spirit embrace the in between set healthy boundaries love that we have boundaries twice i have seen this before in a reading with boundaries coming up twice so that's really good three of pentacles king of wands that was in the reverse wasn't it yeah king of wands Justice in the reverse and the five of wands. This is confusing because what I'm getting is you actually have children with this person or you maybe have wanted to have children with this person. There's some sort of family connection here. It's like you're trying to pad things out because you don't want to affect the kids is what I'm hearing. So I definitely feel like you have kids with this person. Um, you're in a relationship with them or you're kind of in separation right now, but you have been in a relationship with them before. Obviously, it's not going to resonate with everyone, but with the Family Harmony card, it's like proper family vibes here. Um, I definitely feel like you need to actually set boundaries for yourself because with the set healthy boundaries and boundaries, it's basically just full on telling me that you need to set boundaries with yourself. Is this what you want? Is this actually a relationship that you really want? If it is, then obviously carry on, but I feel like you don't really want this to carry on because we have the Justice in reverse, we have the King of Wands in reverse, and we also have the Three of Pentacles. I feel like this relationship is mainly about um, family and money issues almost. So um, if it's not, then this probably isn't the right group for you. This is almost very specific um, because we also have the Five of Wands. I can see you guys having quite intense arguments. Also arguments over money possibly. And I feel like the person that you're inquiring about really isn't stepping up to the plate. I don't feel like they're kind of doing what they're meant to be doing, as in like they're not having any boundaries for themselves. I feel like they're almost with somebody else, or they're kind of like, should we separate? And you're like, um, excuse me, I did not see this coming. <laughs> um, but also embracing between some, I feel like an unusual outcome could actually come out of this situation. Um, I feel like I need one more card. Okay, can we get one more card, please? what's the advice for group number two thank you crossroads of course there's crossroads okay great <laughs> okay so what's gonna happen after these crossroads balance okay and can we have one more thank you oh. yeah, two cards okay so we have balance. So after the crossroads, I said, what's, up, what's going to happen after the crossroads? We've got balance. I hope you can see that it's not too overexposed. And then we also have channel. We have transition. And we also have deep healing. Okay, so what I'm getting is, might not be something you want to hear, but I definitely feel like this is something that you need to go through to get rid of any old shit that's going on around this heart area. Um, I feel like you're holding on to something out of comfort or out of um, connection with children or connection with your children in a sense. So it's like there's some sort of connection with this person that is beneficial for your life um, to create balance. So I feel like it's easier to let this person go because because for your like for your health, for your um, emotional health. But in a sense of 3D elements, like money, children, obviously children aren't just 3D, they're 5D as well, but it's like that physical, what you can see, that's kind of what I feel like is troubling this um, relationship. I feel like this is actually going to help you go through a massive transition. I feel like we could actually have quite a good, well, okay, do you know what? I'm feeling there quite, could be quite a good outcome of this. Either you're going to move on, um, and I feel like you're going to move on anyway. I feel like you're genuinely going to move on for now. Because I feel like there's definite separation. 
like it's, it's very intense the energy is almost like gray and really heavy and strong so underneath we have the seven of pentacles in reverse so definitely money yep we also have the high priestess and <laughs> yep and the four of cups so what i'm basically seeing is this person that you're connecting with it's kind of a mess i'm not gonna lie they don't know what they want to do with their life they haven't got their shit together i'm sorry but they really haven't <laughs> um and i feel like once you channel this like high priestess vibe you're kind of like do you know what i don't need you i'm going to be on my own and i'm going to possibly look for a new partner or i'm possibly just going to date or i'm just going to just do me and you you over there you go do your own thing <laughs> but i feel like you're being like really sassy you're like mm, yes so i definitely feel like you once you do this this person will come back with an offer but you won't want it because you're like really you didn't want me when we were together now you want me when we're not together this reading is so sassy i love it it's amazing so obviously if this didn't resonate this is very very specific so if you want to choose another group that's completely fine if you feel like this doesn't resonate with you but this is definitely more for people who have children or some sort of um th physical tie to somebody with say money job that sort of thing um okay so thank you so much for watching i really hope this helped obviously it might not be something you want to hear but i really hope this helped obviously my readings are pretty honest and deep so that's what you get when you go on this channel so thank you guys for watching if you'd like to get a private reading with me all the information is down below and on the screen here if i remember to put it on the screen and if you'd like to like this video uh comment down below if this resonated and i'll speak to you very soon bye guys hello group number three uh thank you so much for Hello group number three, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's see, should you wait or should you move on? And we have the gorgeous citrine, which is about your sacral chakra and your um, your gut and your ego, that sort of thing, and your confidence. So let's see what we have. So for your advice, we have emotions, okay? And then we also have higher consciousness. Keep an open mind, claim your independence. Three of swords, the devil, page of pentacles, six of pentacles and the eight of wands so i feel like you have quite an emotional like sexual connection towards this person and i feel like it's actually going to turn out pretty well um there has been a bit of an unbalance imbalance that's right word. there's a bit of an imbalance between you and this person and i feel like you the universe is basically saying that you need to have your independence for now but keep an open mind in this relationship. I feel like this connection you have with this person is very, very spiritual. It's like proper 5D because we have higher consciousness and I feel like you can actually talk to this person through your um, third eye. So in a sense, should you move on or should you wait? I feel like you should wait because there is a essence of kind of the person getting their shit together. I feel like they're going to be working on their money. I feel like once they worked on their money situation, I feel like they're going to come towards you. Obviously, once they've sorted out their emotional issues, that sort of thing. Because the Eight of Wands is going towards the Devil and the Page of Pentacles. So it's almost like you're going to have a really sexual connection when you're with this person. And that basically, this person I feel like is a lot different from what you've actually had before. It says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So it's almost like this person is completely different than what you've had before. But there's a lot of emotions and the emotions are really really intense and i can feel them it's almost like it is literally the color of that card it feels gray it feels like clear though it feels like gray but it feels kind of like soft so it's almost like these emotions that are coming up are really strong intense and they're kind of like really really raw but they're really good because they're opening you up to kind of like a new side of what love can feel like, what a connection with somebody can feel like, even if you're not with them. Definitely a, a spiritual connection. But the universe is telling you to claim your independence for now and just kind of be your own, be your own person for now without this person. So in a sense, you should wait for them. Um, I feel like if you don't feel like it's going to end well, then move on. If you feel like this connection is possibly too intense or is just kind of too sexual but to be fair i'm kind of laughing at myself in my head one because i'm a scorpio and i like intense stuff but two is basically i feel like you like the intensity anyway so i don't feel like that's an issue and i feel like you wouldn't be with this person if you couldn't handle the intensity almost also i feel like you wouldn't be watching this video if you couldn't handle the intensity 
but obviously that if that resonates then that's completely fine but i definitely feel like a lot of you kind of like this intensity hence why i feel like you should keep this this connection going almost wait for it i feel like it's going to take a little a while about three to five months even maybe six months and that's a long time but it's definitely worth waiting for i feel like i feel like it's worth waiting for so can we have what's going to happen after these emotions have gone through i feel like you need to go through these emotions as well because i feel like you're learning quite a bit through this because they're so deep i feel like they're getting right deep into your emotions and you're kind of coping with something knowledge yeah so this is as i said this is literally going to help you to gain knowledge you're, you're gaining um more emotional awareness you're figuring out okay what do i need to deal with that's inside of me and that's not fun that's not normally fun because it's pretty deep and we have solutions yes exactly so the knowledge you're going to have through this connection is going to give you solutions and transformation gorgeous i'm sorry if you can't see that hopefully you can see that but this is like absolute transformation but i definitely feel like this is such an intense connection that it's almost like when you're with this person i feel like you almost get like shaky because you're so nervous or you just feel such an intense pull towards this person it's like give me a sign and that sign is right here you're going to have transformation there is solutions with this situation um and i'm saying please wait this out um just keep balancing yourself keep trying to gain balance within yourself that's really really important because your person is going through quite an intense time um with the three of swords and you are i feel like are processing a lot of past wounds and i feel like they are as well so i really hope this resonated with you guys if you if it resonated let me know down below in the comments also if you would like to subscribe to my channel my name is a crystal girl and i'm also doing a little thing with my general readings where i actually recommend crystals now so i'm going to put that in the description as well so if you'd like a general reading and you'd also like me to give you any knowledge on a certain crystal that you want to uh help you with your life essentially then i will recommend that as well so that's kind of like the little extra i get i give in my general readings so yeah thank you for watching guys if you to give a big thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you very soon bye hello group number four thank you so much for clicking on this video we have the gorgeous rose quartz here my absolute favorite that an opalite amethyst and a lot of other crystals <laughs> one of my favorites so let's see should you wait or should you move on so the overall advice is soul healing which is absolutely gorgeous this is so pretty um i love how like soul healing is actually quite similar to the color of the rose quartz it's kind of like a ready pinky sort of color which is so pretty i love that so then we also have body movement children watch your words make your dreams real and then from the tarot we have the moon strength and the three of cups i feel like the moon was in reverse this is yes and yes okay i need the overall energy what's the overall energy what's the overall outcome for group number four please these are all in reverse that, that is not in reverse then that one isn't okay so the overall advice like the overall kind of energy if you wait for this person would be judgment so i feel you will get like you will figure out what's going to happen between this person so you will get kind of an overall closure and overall outcome you are going through a very soul healing time at the moment so this fact that this person you'll you'll figure out whether to wait for this person i feel like you should because i feel like it's going to be quite successful um and there's the three of cups and the magician I feel like this person has maybe a drinking problem they love their alcohol a little bit too much so i feel like this is actually almost affecting this connection it could also be affecting your children um it also could be affecting anyone kind of younger around you um or you could just be going into your inner child trying to get into all the deep emotions that you've kind of dealt with in the past and you're almost trying to make a new start for yourself so with this person, I feel like they have quite harsh words and you're kind of thinking, do I really want to be around that? But I feel like you can, I feel like this person needs to go through some sort of transformation with their emotions and they're kind of, I feel like you are the strength for them, but I feel like they need to figure this out on their own. The moon is in reverse, so I feel like they are going through quite, this isn't reverse, is it? I don't feel like that was in reverse. It didn't feel right. So I feel like with the moon, it's almost like 
they have a lot of intense emotions that they need to go through this feels really stuck i feel like i need two more cards from this can we have two more cards what's the overall outcome after soul healing Whoop. and uh, oh crossroads can we have one more please what's the overall outcome Whoop. and uh, oh sorry i keep saying that meme it's just really funny so underneath we have release and then we also have protection, crossroads, ancestors, and insight. So <laughs> they're kind of telling me to move on. But the funny thing is, is I feel like this actually has potential because we have the Hierophant, and the Ace of Pentacles and the Magician. I feel like there needs to be somebody professional is going to be involved in this situation. Um, or you're going to get advice from someone who's like got more knowledge than you. I'm getting like higher up. So they have more knowledge in you, either they're professional or they're a friend with more knowledge in this situation, that sort of thing. I feel like you need to talk to somebody about this if you're really not sure. Um, or kind of look into how you feel about the situation in your inner child. And how do you feel when you talk to this person? Because I feel like we have watch your words. I feel like this person can almost be quite aggressive, especially when they're drinking. And I feel like it would help you to get your body moving, to get some energy moving. And I feel like this would actually help you to figure out what you want to do. But I feel like you need to protect yourself from this person for now. So I feel like you can wait. I feel like it's possible. For, I feel like it's like wait if you feel like you this is the right decision. You feel like you want this person around. But move on if you feel like this person is going to constantly like jab at you. I feel like they're jabbing at you. They kind of say things that are quite hurtful. They say things that hurt you. Almost like you have a physical reaction to it. So if they say something really harsh or they say something that just it hurts you. Um, I feel like it just like your heart hurts or you get like acid reflux or you have like pain in your shoulder There's some sort of physical ailment that you get when you're around this person and almost I feel like you almost need to create your own protection around you to try and figure out whether you want to keep this person but I generally feel like there is positive things with this because I feel like if you can um, if they once they move through the issues and you can accept them through their art and they accept you this is going to be really, really positive because we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Hierophant. So I feel like something is going to be closed. It's going to be closed. And there's possibly going to be either a closure on this whole relationship and it's possibly going to end if it is negative, if it is to do drinking um, and professional things like solicitors, things like that. If it's not, I feel like there is going to be quite a positive change and they're almost like going to come around. So as I say, it is kind of like 50-50, but it's all about kind of what you want and what you want to have out of this um connection if you feel like it's the best thing to do um but yeah wait if you feel like it's the best thing to do and move on if you feel like it's not really going to benefit you if you don't really have if most of these feelings are i'm sorry to say this but out of safety if most of these things you are feeling towards this person that you're connecting with this person more is about your safety and like you're connecting with them in a negative way is in like you're almost clutching onto them, you're almost holding on to them for just your own safety, but actually it'll, be, it'll do you so much better to move on and let them go. So I'm sorry that was so deep, but that's kind of what I'm getting. So, what this helped? Uh, as I say, this is kind of 50-50 as well. It's all about how you feel also, but just protect yourself and do what is best for you um, and what you feel like is the, the best option. But that's the advice that I have. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to book a private reading with me, all the information is down below and on the screen here, if I remember and feel free to subscribe to my channel also if you would like to like this video feel free to like it and if you want to comment down below if this resonated if it didn't resonate then let it fly pick another group that sort of thing you know the drill so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you very soon bye guys